ਨਾਕੂ ਬਾਣੀ ਹੈ ਨਾਕੂ ਬਾਣੀ ਮਾਈ ਨੇਮ ਇਜ਼ ਚੇਸ ਐਂਡ ਆਮ ਨਾਈਨ ਇਅਰਸ ਓਲਡ ਆਈ ਲਿਵ ਇਨ ਐਬਲਿੰਗ ਕੈਂਪਸ ਕਮ ਮੀ ਮਾਈ ਫੈਮਿਲੀ ਨਾਕੂ ਬਾਣੀ ਥਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਮਾਈ ਡੌਗ ਪੈਪਰ ਮੋ ਬੋਏ ਥਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਮਾਈ ਡੈਡ ਸੇ ਹਾਈ ਹਾਈ ਨਾਕੂ ਬਾਣੀ ਥਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਮਾਈ ਮਮ and my brother Weston is in his room <laughs> and my sister Kenzie look at him Kenzie she seems nice but she's actually a notorious bunny thief there's someone else you should meet Nuffle so this is my stuffed animal his name is Bunny and I think you two will be good friends While my dad runs in a plant store, my mom runs a dairy farm, and our whole family helps with all the cows. Before we go to the farm, let me show you around. This is my blue tub with all my toys and my desk. And here's my shelf. I have a whole bunch of tractors. I got this truck for Christmas, too. I say it's a collectible because it has my name on it. Here are my wrestling medals. My first one is my second place medal. This one is my fourth place medal. That's pretty much all. Can you want to go up to your room? Uh, Kenzie's at it again. <laughs> okay, enough with the tour. My parents ate an early breakfast, so it's time to make my own. First, we get out our egg and our bowl. Crack the egg into the bowl. Make sure no shells get in. Then we're gonna get salt and pepper. So now, mix it up. And pour our egg in. Salute. Meanwhile, Kenzie is plotting to steal Muffle again. Ooh, busted. Egg. And this is egg. Can you want to try it? Done. So this is the egg I made myself. Hmm. Okay, breakfast and dishes are done. Let me brush my teeth and we're off to the farm. Okay. put my hat on. Hildebrand Farms Dairy. That's our farm. This farm has been in our family since 1930. And my gloves. Got to get my boots on. It's awfully muddy out here. Before we get to work, let's do a little tour with my friend Lavelle. <laughs> This is a calf farm. Here we care for about 20 baby cows called calves. I'll go find spots. This barn cat seems to know the way. This is Spots. Because I like that name and he has a lot of white spots. Spots is my favorite of the current cows. He is only three months old, but look how big he is. <laughs> It's fun when I get to name the cows. Tuplet and Tyson. Tyson? Yeah. Okay. And even more fun to meet a brand new one. There she is. Mama calf and a baby calf. This calf's only a couple hours old. Next, we head to the adult cow barn. Hello. These are grown-up cows. There's 120 cows in here. And then check out all our farms, machines, and tractors. So that's a planter. It plants the seeds. The, that's the um, sprayer. And right there is a chopper. And that's a comb on. The combine has a header. That header is scooping up the um, wheat. And when we're full, that auger is going to come out and dump it into the tractor. Use it besides that store corn. We have to harvest and store enough food to feed all these cows. Finally, it's time for the stinkiest part of the tour. And here's the big manure pit. Ew. It's all poop. Manure. And they spread it on your field to fertilize the crop. Eww. Okay, that's it for the tour, and now it's time to get to work. One of my favorite jobs on the farm is feeding the baby cows their milk. So each cow gets one bottle of milk. We cap the bottles with special nipples, and then feed the babies. Dude. 
wow. Now he's thirsty. Don't mind them barn cats, Knuckles. We're all done. Now I have to help the cows move into the milk barn. Come on, girl. Come on. Then it's time to get milk in. We're in the milk barn. This is where we milk all the cows. The milk goes into this, which gets sucked up into this tube. And then it goes to the plant to get processed into milk bottles. Here I got a tea cleaner. So this is to help them to not get infections. It's like a hand sanitizer for their tea. Wow. I like this cow. Once the cows are done being milked, they head out. Now I'm hosing off my boots to go to the digger store we have in our farm. The best part of having a dairy farm is that we get to use the milk to make ice cream. So each week we have a new flavor of ice cream and today's flavor is peanut butter ice cream. <laughs> peanut butter ice cream. It's super duper delicious. We make this ice cream ourselves. Tomorrow, milk and cream. Okay, let me show you the other things we sell in the store. So this is the honey, here's the chips, that's our milk fridge. This milk is made right here on the farm. These are all the milks we have. Strawberry, chocolate. We even have root beer milk. But obviously the ice cream is still my favorite. It's been a long wet day, time to go home for dinner. On the farm, everyone helps out with everything. So, I'm in charge of dinner tonight. We're having chicken alfredo with cream from the farm. First, we chop some chicken. Heat up the water. Now we gotta put our noodles in. Get the noodles cooking. It's very hot. Pour in the chicken. Now, alfredo sauce. We're making chicken alfredo. Bubbling up, that's a good sign. Then we combine the ingredients and... Dinner is served. Mm. Oh, I better not forget Pepper's dinner. After dinner, I brush my teeth and get ready for bed. Bye. Thanks for a great day on the farm, Nuffle Bunny. Making breakfast, feeding the baby cows, and even being patient with my notorious bunny thief sister. I'm Lorelai. I'm five, and I'm from Tennessee. This is my cat, Ruby. This is my room I share with my sister. Introduce yourself. I'm Miss Linda. <laughs> I love snow days. I get to sleep in. This is my bed. This is my sister's bed. My sister has a pillow on her door because if we didn't have a pillow, she would, she would roll off of her bed like she already did one day and she was scared. This is the dress up area. This is my music area. I can sing songs here and play the piano here and even play the guitar. Never Bunny, this is how we play the piano. Come with me, let's go feed the chickens. When I wake up, I always go check on my chickens, but I got a late start because it's a snow day! Come on, Bunny, let's go! My daddy and I always go check on the chickens together. My daddy has such a big beard. If he cut it off, I don't think I would recognize him. <laughs> a small one. When it's cold outside, the chickens like to cuddle. Don't eat them. <laughs> they have to be quiet and cooked. Time to feed the chickens. 
We had these chickens since they were tiny baby chicks. <laughs> this is a rooster. Elko, did you know that roosters don't lay eggs? These are chickens. This is Reba, Winnie, and Bash. Time to go inside. <laughs> I put all my eggs on the egg holder on the counter. The chickens lay different color eggs. The green ones are my favorite. All done. My friends Max and Ian came over. We're gonna go look for some snowmen. The snowman's missing an eye. Maybe I can fix it. I tried to put it back, but it won't stick. It won't come. I'll just put it in here. It's so cold. Let's go home. Don't leave me. These are cinnamon rolls. This is my mommy. I love when we cook together. Can I have a bunny once too? Alright, come on, Bunny. He put one down! Alright, so these have to cook now. So we're gonna go ahead and put these in, in the, the oven. oven. This is our craft time. We're gonna make a snowman craft. We get to use glue, sprinkles, and marshmallows. Every snowman and snowflake are supposed to look different. How do we spell Snuffle Bunny? K. I'm still practicing how to do a K, Mommy. Knuffle Bunny so and Lola at the top. Wow, it's so pretty. That was a wonderful craft time. Let's go deliver some eggs to Miss Andy. <laughs> we have to be careful on the ice. Okay. <laughs> okay, here we go. Ooh, they, some of these are big. Look at that. And some of them are small. Some of them are small. Those are the good ones, though, huh? You're welcome. Yeah, thank you. Y'all have a good day. Thank you. Stay warm. Come on. On our journey back across the sea. I'm going to ice skate. We're going to go inside and make breakfast for dinner. It's my favorite making eggs for dinner. First, we add the bottle. Then we scramble the eggs. Then my favorite part, we put in the cheese. Everywhere. I wonder which chicken laid these eggs. Mm. Which one do you think? Mm. Elko. We know it's not Elko, why? Mm. Why is it not Elko? Because he's a rooster. He's a rooster. Roosters aren't laying the eggs. No. These eggs are super yummy and I helped cook them. Time for the zoo and cinnamon rolls for slicing. I think Knuffle Bunny likes that. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Probably because you did such a good job putting the icing on. By myself. Uh -huh. When I go to bed at night, I take them off, my glasses off and put them in here. I always brush my teeth. Come on, can I have a bunny? Let's go put on our pajamas. <laughs> I got my jammies on. Thank you for spending the day with me, can I have a bunny? Now you're gonna go see another child. Come in this place. <laughs> no, get, get out of here, get out of here. Shoo, shoo, shoo. Oh, hello. It's me, the pigeon. You may now applaud. Oh, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, that's it. Okay. Well, I thought I thought there'd be more. Welcome to my show, where I use my brilliant bird brain to answer questions that have flummoxed everyone since before time began. This episode's question is. Oh, I guess I gotta get right over here. How do 
can you make a sandwich? Now I, the world's most pigeony expert, shall answer. Ahem. First, you want to get sand. Yeah. <laughs> no? Oh, well, silly me. To make a sandwich, first you need a witch. <laughs> first you need a chakpoo? <laughs> <laughs> Wuzza, wuzza, wah! Well, how am I supposed to know how to make a sandwich? I'm a pigeon! The only thing I know how to make is waves. <laughs> I mean, come on! It's not like there's anybody else in the whole world who knows how to make a sandwich anyway. I know how to make a sandwich. What? Who said that? Me. <gasps> Lucas! My friend! The last time we talked you were going to school? Are you still doing that? Of course! <laughs> Classic Lucas. Now, what were you saying? Something about a sandwich and the making of it? I know how to make a sandwich. <gasps> Are you serious? You know how to make a sandwich? You? Lucas? I sure do. Oh, would you show me how? Oh, please! Please, would you show me how? Please! <laughs> <laughs> of course I can. Lucas, don't move. I'll be right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, it took me so long to get here. I had to run some errands along the way. So, uh, is that offer to make a sandwich still good? For you, Pigeon? Absolutely. We can make it over here. Oh, look at all that food. There's lettuce and turkey meat, which is a little close to pigeon meat, if you ask me, but whatevs. So, what do we do first? The first thing I do when making a sandwich is I get two pieces of bread. <gasps> and you put the bread on your head! No, Pigeon! Oh, no! I put the bread on a plate. Whoa, I did not see that coming. Then I get the greens I want to go inside my sandwich. <laughs> Obvio. Obvio. So what are you going to pick? I'm going to make a grape jelly and strawberry jelly sandwich. Wait, 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 wait! You're going to make a jelly and jelly sandwich? Yep, jelly and jelly, jelly. Plus jelly equals awesome. This is why I love Lucas. I need a way for the jelly to get on the bread, so I'm going to use this knife carefully. Ooh, knife move. A good one, Pigeon. <laughs> Thank you. Then I spread the grape jelly on one piece of bread. Spread, 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 spread. Then I wipe it off and spread strawberry jelly on the other piece. Ooh, spread, 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 spread. Lucas, I need to tell you something. You are not only spreading jelly, but you are also spreading joy, but also jelly. Spread, 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 spread. Then I wipe the strawberry jelly off and put the two pieces of bread together like this. <gasps> Whoa. Now let's see that again in slow motion. Then I cut my sandwich in half, like this. <gasps> Ooh, excellent cutting. Very sandwich cutty. That's how I make a sandwich. What do you think? I think that one. The most incredible thing I've ever seen in my entire pigeon life! I just have one question. What is it? Now that the sandwich is made, what are you going to do with it? I eat it. Nom, nom, nom. Oh, 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 oh! That's what sandwiches are for. You know what makes the sandwich taste the best? What? When you eat them, we're friends! <gasps> sandwich party. Thank you, Lucas. Thank you, Star. Thank you, Blaze. Thank you, Sandwich. Goodbye! Goodbye, Goodbye Pigeons! Okay, Shoo Shoo, get out of here. Come on, come on. Oh, hello. It's me, the Pigeon. Yes, you may take a picture. <laughs> Welcome!
Welcome to my show, where I use my brilliant bird brain to answer questions that have flummoxed everyone since before time began! This episode's question is... How do you brush your teeth? Now I, the world's most pigeony expert, shall answer. <clears throat> Ahem. First, what you want to do is get a paintbrush. No! No? Ugh, oh, silly me. To brush your teeth, you need a hairbrush. No! To brush your teeth, you need a pony. No! Was a was a wah! Well, how am I supposed to know how to brush teeth? I'm a pigeon! I don't even have teeth! Look! Bleh. Pfft, I mean, come on! It's not like there's anybody else in the whole world who knows how to brush teeth anyway! I know how to brush my teeth. What the? Who said that? Me! <gasps> Olive! My friend! Oh, the last we talked, you were breathing air? Is that still something you're into? Of course I still breathe air. <laughs> <laughs> Classic Olive. So, what were you saying? Something about teeth and brushing of them? I know how to brush my teeth, Pigeon. <gasps> Are you serious? You know how to brush your teeth? All of them? Well, you have to brush all of them. <gasps> would you show me how? Oh, please, 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 would you show me how, please? <laughs> I love to. Olive, don't move. I'll be right there. Oh, I, oh, sorry it took me so long to get here. There was backup at air traffic control. I don't know why I took that second job. Okay. So how does this whole uh, tooth brushing thing work? The first thing I do is get this. What is that? A hammer? A super secret spy camera? No, it's a toothbrush. Oh. Tooth. Tooth. Toothbrush. Nope, never heard of it. Next, I wet my toothbrush under the faucet. Ooh, splashy! <laughs> then I turn off the faucet and take this toothpaste and squeeze a small amount on. Just a little bit? Just a little bit. You only need a little bit. I guess it's extra minty. It is. Look at that. Very there we nice. go. Then I tilt my toothbrush like this. Ooh, tilty! When I brush my teeth, I brush in little circles, not straight lines. <gasps> oh, not straight lines. Good. I never trusted straight lines. I'm gonna start brushing now. Oh, okay, yeah, you do that, that sounds great. <gasps> Whoa. Oh, that's incredible. You, you do this all by yourself? What that? So you brush on the fronts of your teeth and on the backs of your teeth? And the tops of my teeth too. Even the tops? This is astounding. Last, I brush my tongue. A, a, a tongue is not teeth, unless is a tongue teeth. No, but I brush my tongue too, because food can get on it, and it makes my breath smell good. See? <sighs> That's amazing. Then what do you do? Then I spread out the toothpaste in my mouth. Oh, into the sink. Good. That seems cleaner than the floor. And wash off my toothbrush. <gasps> Yay, more splashy! Then I turn off the water and put my toothbrush back on your head. No pigeon in its spot. Oh, okay. Well, you do you. So what, you do this like once every hundred years? No, pigeon. No? I brush my teeth two times a day. Two times a day? Sometimes more. Stop it. So what do you think, pigeon? I think that was the most incredible thing I've ever seen in my entire pigeon-y life. <laughs> Wow, I'm glad you liked it. Oh, thank you, Olive. Thank you, Olive's teeth. And thank you, Shower, for supporting me along the way. I love you. <laughs> Goodbye, Olive. Goodbye. <laughs> Huzzah! I did it again! I used my brilliant bird brain to answer another question perfectly with no problem at all! Huzzah! Again! Watch more of my show, The Pigeon Explains, on the Mo Willems Workshop YouTube channel and all your dreams will come true! But only if you had a dream about watching my show. Until next time, I am The Pigeon and you are welcome. <laughs> Exit music, please! Knuffle Bunny Free An Unexpected Diversion by Mo Willems One day, 
not so long ago, Trixie took a big trip with her family. They were on their way to visit Trixie's Oma and Opa in Holland. Holland is far away. So that meant taking a taxi to the airport, waiting in line, watching Knuffle Bunny go through the big machine, waiting some more, and finally getting onto a real airplane. On the plane, Trixie played and read and slept. Before she knew it, the plane had landed. Trixie and her family left the airport and got on a train to go to... Oma and Opa's house. Oma and Opa were so happy to see Trixie. Soon, Oma and Trixie were drinking cold glasses of chocolate milk in the garden. Suddenly, Trixie realized something. Trixie didn't tell her daddy that Knuffle Bunny was gone. She didn't have to. Trixie's daddy called the airline and asked them to look for Knuffle Bunny on the plane. But the plane had left for China. China is very far away. Trixie's mommy hugged her and asked her to be brave. Trixie's daddy told the story of when he was a little boy and said goodbye to his special lammy. Oma gave Trixie another glass of chocolate milk and remarked on how big she was getting. Trixie understood. She was getting bigger. Even if she wished she wasn't. The next morning, Trixie tried to enjoy going to the cafe and the swings in the playground and the carnival that was in town. And while the whole week was filled with fun things like eating french fries on the street, visiting real windmills, and feeding the ducks, Trixie was still sad. She missed her Knuffle Bunny. Oma and Opa understood. Oma and Opa had a plan. That night, they had a surprise for Trixie. A brand new Top of the line, Funny Bunny Wunny Doll Extreme. It could walk. It could speak. In Dutch, it can sprechen. It could dance. It can dancen. But it couldn't make Trixie feel any better. Trixie was sure that she wouldn't be able to sleep another night in a strange bed without her Knuffle Bunny. But before she knew it, she was dreaming. The next morning, Trixie felt better. She dreamed of Knuffle Bunny and all the places he would visit. She dreamed of all the children Knuffle Bunny would meet. She dreamed of how Knuffle Bunny would make them feel better. Trixie had a big breakfast. She played with Oma on the playground swings. She even tried a sip of Opa's coffee at the cafe. It was a great day. Before she knew it, the trip was over and it was time to go home. Trixie hugged Oma and Opa as hard as she could. Then Trixie and her family got back onto the train and back onto the plane and listened to the crying baby as the plane lifted off. But can you believe it? Right there, 
on that very plane, Trixie noticed something. Knuffle Bunny! Trixie was so happy to have Knuffle Bunny back in her arms. Happy enough to make a decision. Trixie turned around and said, Would your baby like my Knuffle Bunny? Really? asked the baby's mother. Really? asked Trixie's daddy. Really? asked Trixie's mommy. Blaggy Plaggy? asked the baby. Really? said Trixie. She was big enough. The baby was happy. The baby's mother was thankful. Trixie's parents were proud. And the other passengers were very relieved. And that is how, a few weeks later, Trixie received her very first letter. A note to Trixie. Trixie, I hope to watch you grow up, fall in love, start a family, and be happy. And I hope that one day, many years from now, you will receive a package. From an old pen pal. Love, Daddy. That was fun! Yeah.